Like many of you, I'm super inspired by Casey Neistat as a filmmaker. He's totally brilliant. Part of what makes his film so good is the music that he uses. He must have spent a long time finding those artists and that sound that he's so known for. Um, but it super elevates the experience of watching his vlogs. So I thought today would be fun to just like make a track that kind of sounds like it could be on a Casey Neistat vlog. I'll show you the process a little bit. And then at the end, we'll uh, put it over some cool footage or something maybe. Here we go. So the first thing that you need to think about, it's so loud downstairs right now, I'm very sorry. When I think about making music in the genre, I think about sampling and nostalgia. These are two super uh, important principles because he's in New York. Um, New York is a very old place. It's also a very new place. So when you take like a Dixieland horn section, when you take a, something that sounds like maybe Frank Sinatra sang it, uh, and you bring that into the modern like sound world, you put a beat underneath it, and then you put it to drone footage of like skyscrapers in New York City, it just feels right. So I have this film score that I made that is, um, you know, vaguely feels like nostalgic. It's not maybe the first track I would pick for something like this, but since it's my track, I don't have to worry about copyright or anything like that. Um, and maybe I could do a little cross promotion. I thought, why not, I'll just use that. So here's my go at Casey Neistat vlog music. Casey, if you watch this, please consider using my track. I love you. Something like that. Okay, so the music that I'm flipping for this is uh, from a soundtrack uh, to a movie called 35 Years to the Moon. I actually have like a two-part series uh, 20, 25 minute long, like deep dive into my process of scoring that film. I will link to those videos in the description below. Okay, it's game time. Is that good? Okay, so I've got a few new things in here. I've got um, these just really simple bass notes. I've got these held string chords to kind of double the bass. And then I've got down here. And then I've also got this turnaround that I was showing you earlier. And then finally, I've added just I found this place where I was kind of holding down these eighth notes on the piano, and I just pitched and time stretched that. All right, so it's time to just dust this track up. I think I'm gonna play with some horn samples and uh, maybe just like nuance, like mixing and stuff that I can't really show you because it would just take forever and you wouldn't watch my videos anymore. For those of you that are music nerds, please uh, ask questions in the comments or whatever and I will do my best to answer them. In honor of the fact that this is like a Casey Neistat vloggy kind of thing that I'm doing, I thought it would be really fun to put this music over some footage that is very appropriate and about which I am very excited. Without further ado, uh, let's, let's do this. Long day's work.
All right, so that's about it. A huge shout out to some of these artists that are really changing the game. There's a bunch of people that have contributed to Casey's vlog. I'm going to link to a SoundCloud playlist in the description below. Artists like Andrew Applepie, Jeff Kale, Maxwell, Ben Murray Smith, you have had a big impact on me. Thank you. Thanks to everybody else for watching. If you have any ideas on how I could have improved, you think I bombed it, you think I nailed it, would love to hear your thoughts. All right, peace.